Hello everyone and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for around the 4th of May 2023 for all signs. So as always it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and remember these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they're released. The cards have flown out. We have a tower. Painful ending. The Ten of Swords. We have the Five of Coins, the King of Swords, the Ten of Cups, Seven of Swords, we have the Queen of Swords, King and Queen of Swords. Three of Swords. Yep, the Six of Wands. This feels like a process that <laughs> that someone's going through. It's not dissimilar to work. I think it's a daily that I've had before. I think a few couple of days ago. Um, but the the tower change. Now, with the King and Queen of Swords being in this reading, again, male or female on either side, this can be about change that's happening within a relationship. Or with the Ten of Cups, it can be even wider family. Uh, because again, this can be inheritance too. This can sometimes be about sudden loss. Um, but also the, the tower can be about endings, the break, breaking down of something and, and a painful ending, you know, uh, completing. That's what I'm seeing. But that's where you get to release from the pain. Again, the Ten of Swords is the end of what has been a painful scenario, process, situation here. It's the end of this. So for some of you, this could be if you've been battling to get what you want. And for some of you, this is financial. I think this is a financial requirements as a result of some kind of ending. The, the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, someone not giving you what you want because they're being deceptive. There's concealment. They're not declaring everything. You know, this is the energy here. I'm not being given enough. And certainly knowing the truth, these two energies, like I said, it could be the two of you against, you know, wider family potentially, uh, or, you know, you're not declaring everything, you're concealing, you're stealing, you're, you're not giving me what I deserve, you know, whatever the scenario is, there's concealment here. Someone is being very deceptive and leaving, I feel another person feeling lack. Five of coins, not getting everything that you deserve. These are energies of what's true and what's right and being very clear and decisive. Certainly being, can't hide anything from each other, that's for sure. This will be, I know what you're doing in these energies, certainly if it's with regard to a relationship. Uh, and clearly making choices and decisions in terms of how you're moving forward. And suddenly you could take the same energy and apply it to a different scenario. But the message is somebody is being sneaky, somebody is being deceptive, somebody is being is concealing, not declaring, acting in an underhand manner to not give somebody what they deserve. The Ten of cups and the three of swords again this can be linked with breakups again the three of swords can be linked with painful truths endings betrayal uh, a truth coming to light third party scenarios call it what you will uh, but also pain being caused in other areas of life pain being caused by even wider family uh, or still dealing with the pain of whatever the fallout of this was this tower was 
and then going through this whole painful process. So this feels like, I mean, the Ten of Cups can be a great card of, of wider family or long-term committed relationships, marriage. There's happiness here, but certainly something has caused upset. Again, either in the relationship or could be in another area of life, even wider family. The Six of Wands is you claim a victory. You overcome the issue. This is, this feels like winning the battle. Because someone has been deceptive, but this is about, I know what you're doing and I want the what's right and fair and true that's due to me, given to me. And this is the outcome. This is winning the battle. And that would be the prediction too, if this scenario is yours. Because you stand for truth. I mean, this is all about truth. Acting honorably with integrity. Okay, final message, final message. Could be a legal process for a lot of you, or again, if it's been kind of like a conflict in discussions within like family, or you've been, you know, arguing with, like I said, it could be another area of life as well. But I feel that there's, there's just a strong link to either family or love romance. Really, these, some, these energies can sometimes mean, certainly in a relationship, there's no love lost. Not always. In this scenario with the layout of the cards. And they, you see the truth within each other. But for others of you, it's something that could affect a relationship and understanding how to deal with it in truth. Okay, final message. Shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. Let's pull one more card. One more card, please, to go with this reading. I've got a couple. We have wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. Yeah, this, these are very smart energies, very intellectual energies. We have wait for winter. During the colder months, the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. Strong energy here of feeling cold towards somebody for not giving you what you they deserved. You know, that's the energy here. And I feel that that sense of fiery warmth in terms of a victory is coming your way. That's what I have for the day. Powerful reading. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.